Hi, this is Annabelle from Coffee Clutch. For some time now, I've been coming across small businesses who have told me that they don't need to register as a data controller. I'm curious about this, so I went through the questionnaire using my own business as a test to see how you could get that kind of result. I'm sharing that with you because if you're getting a different result, I'd very much like to know what you filled in differently and how that worked out for you. I'm going to go through it with you step by step and you tell me how you can end up as a business not needing to register, at least most of the time. I went to the Information Commissioner's website, the Registration for Self-Assessment Questionnaire. The first question it asked was whether we keep CCTV. Well, in our business, the answer is no, but obviously in your business, you can fill in yes if that's what you do. I then got another question, which was whether I was processing personal information. Now, despite the fact we are a business to business organisation, we do process personal information. We can't avoid holding your name or your address if you trade from home. So I clicked yes. I then waited a little bit and got the next question up, which was do we process information electronically. Now watch the little yellow bit. Of course we do, we have smartphones and we have laptops. And even if you're a completely manual business, if you keep client phone numbers on your phone, the answer is yes. Because processing information includes reading it or viewing it, it's not just doing something with it. The next question was, is your organisation responsible for deciding how information is processed? Well, of course I am. We decide what to put on our email list, what to put on our databases. We make the decision. The next question is, do you only process information for one of these purposes? Well, for us, the answer is no. And for 99.9% .9 of businesses, the answer will be no for you. Unless you're running a court this, and have no business at all, I can't see how you'd have another answer. Are you a not-for-profit that qualifies for an exemption? Well, most of us wouldn't be because we're not a not-for-profit. And the fact you may be supporting a not-for-profit doesn't make you one. So um, it then asks us, are you processing information for any of the following purposes? Now, we went down and picked legal. You need to go down and pick at least one of these or possibly other. But as soon as we picked legal, which is the primary reason for processing information in our business, look what we got. I'm going down the list quite slowly now to find the legal part. There we are, hitting the next button, and this is where we are. We need to register and we need to pay a fee. Be very interested to know what answers you get if you answer the questions differently. Come back to me and let me know. But remember, even if you don't need to register, you still need to make sure data is secure in your business.